Hi everybody, I'm Paul Tran. Welcome to Learning Unplugged, the place to come for some acoustic music and some acoustic learning. What we mean by that is learning without any technology, except the camera that's pointing at me right now. What we do on Learning Unplugged is have a think about some simple, effective models that help us think and do things differently. Let's put this away. Because today we're going to take a look at a model that's really, really useful for helping you manage time and tasks. And it also helps you work out where your time is going and who or what is stealing it. We're going to take a look at Eisenhower's Time Matrix. Now, you may think about this as Covey's Matrix, but it was Dwight Eisenhower that came up with the idea first. And what Eisenhower's Matrix is all about are two things. The level of urgency versus the level of importance. How quickly we have to do something and how much we really need to do it. What we're going to do is go through the four steps and then have a think about how we use this when we're back at work or actually if we're around at home too. We have four very simple boxes. Box four, three, two and one. That's the order that we're going to go through them and we're going to come back with this a little bit later on with a little bit of added detail for you to make things even clearer. So, box four is when we look at things that have got low importance and low urgency. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking who does stuff that's low importance and low urgency? We'd be surprised. The idea here is to minimize this as much as possible. Really, if it isn't important or urgent, do we really need to be doing it? You either need to minimise it or if you're really good at this, delete it completely. So that's box four, low importance, low urgency. Let's take a look at box three. Box three are all the things in our to-do list that are very urgent with low importance. If you're, a, if you're somebody who's not that good at delegating, this is the stuff to delegate. It's got to be done quickly, but you don't have to do it. And all you need to do is find somebody who can. And all of a sudden, the stuff in box three is done. Then we move to box two. According to Eisenhower, box two are the tasks that are highly important and not very urgent. This is the box where we plan, where we schedule, where we think about how and when we're going to do things. Now, some people think that you're not very productive here. I think there's a good argument for thinking that you really get a lot of good work done here. Because box one is high urgency and high importance. This is the crisis point. This is where things have to be done right now because they're critical. And ideally here, nothing comes in this box unless it's dumped from outside. Now, if you think about this a little bit logically, here's how this works. Box four is the stuff to delete. Box three is the stuff to delegate. Box two is where you plan. And box one is where you do stuff. I've got a little fence around box one. That's because I don't want anything going in there unless someone chucks it in from outside. Because if you don't delegate stuff, or you don't plan stuff, it ends up in box one and it has to be done urgently. So that's how the model works. Four very simple boxes. You, you delete, you delegate, you plan, or you do. And the great thing about this model is it just shows you where your time is going. And if you want to do it on a team scale, big matrix on the wall and put all the tasks for the week on there. And it gives you a really good idea of how to prioritise things as well. So give it a go. See how you get on. If you want to know more about the Eisenhower Matrix, pop your questions down there. If you want to give us some ideas about future learning unplugs, things that you want to see or hear, pop them down there too. And have a great time playing with the Eisenhower Matrix. See you soon.